Somalia's National Consultative Council is in peril of failing in its effort to bring states together to complete national elections. Sources have told various media that there is a clear division between those backing different leaders. The presidents of Jubaland and Puntland are said to be supporting the proposals of Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. Leaders of Benadir, Galmadug, Hershebele, and Southwest State are either opposing Roble decisions or insisting that President Mohamed Formaggio keep control of security forces. The issue of the armed forces has even led to Southwest State President Abdiaziz Loftigarin threatening to walk out of the talks. Negotiations have focused on reaching agreement on three distinct areas reviewing election agreements and solving the complaints put forward by legislators and candidates, agreeing to a timeline to complete balloting, how to make the election free, fair, and credible. Beside the security issues, the leaders are said to be far apart on how to solve the credibility issue for elections. Complaints have focused on three main points state leaders choosing the winners of seats and pitting them against straw men who aren't really competing. Candidates being denied the opportunity to compete for specific seats. The Federal Election Team Dispute Resolution Committee not being transparent in their process. In recent days, the opposition umbrella group, Council of Presidential Candidates, has also suggested that the mechanism for choosing voting delegates needs to be reformed. While the talks are progressing, there are also other issues arising. Robles' ministerial committee investigating the December 27 alleged coup has demanded interviews with five additional military officers. The committee has already spoken with six others. Tuesday, Robles told the council that on the 26th of December, he was informed that his office was under siege by armored vehicles and security forces. He added that personnel from his office were either turned away or removed at gunpoint. Many politicians and analysts have suggested that Formaggio be exiled for his actions last month. Without a constitutional court, it is unlikely that any concrete action will result from the investigation. The NCC are due to resume their meetings on Saturday. ADN-TV will continue to post updates as the NCC tries to solve Somalia's political crisis.